Hello guys, in this video, I'm just going to explain how to download 3D models from Sketchfab or any other websites like TurboScure or uh, free 3D models. So just Google it, okay? If you want any 3D models, just Google it. Usually I will download uh, some Marvel or DC characters from Sketchfab. So already free is there, okay? Free models is there. So I'm going to search the Spider-Man first. Okay, Spider-Man, uh, Garfield, I need Amazing Spider-Man, I need this 3D model. There is some paid version, but you can filter it for free versions. And here, I'm going to download this Amazing Spider-Man. Already, I have downloaded this 3D model, it is working fine. So just choose this download 3D model. The same thing, right, you can just uh, add rigs and you can import it to Blender or Unreal Engine. This is Amazing Spider-Man. 3D model and this one right it works fine but we have to do some corrections because when you upload into blender right uh, it is like uh, tilted and it's very small so i'm going to make it with the correct size okay fine this works very well so i'm going to download this 3d model i will be providing the link in the description so you can download it or you can note this user so already i have downloaded okay and uh, click on this download options download 3d model so models can be in fbx or dot obj so it will be very easy if it is a dot obj or fbx we can easily convert into so this is dot obj file that is not a problem so i'm going to download it i have downloaded a lot of free 3d models from sketchfab so that's what it is here the reason download is this amazing spider-man so i'm going to extract it extract it so inside this folder also, you can see some zip files. You need to unzip it. For example, under source, right? Source will have this .obg file. And we need texture as well. So I'm going to right click and extract it. Super cool. So here we should see this .obg files. Okay, and other materials also is there. Fine. And also I'm going to verify under textures, if anything is unzipped, okay. Super, already it's uh, extracted. So what I'm going to do is, I need this .obj file. So I'm going to copy this location, copy the location, because I'm going to open it into Blender. First, I will open new, okay. Super cool, fine. So I'm going to delete this square, and then go to file and uh, import, and then choose .obj because this is a wavefront file. Okay, if it is FBX, you need to choose FBX. So you need to uh, choose according to the extensions. So I'm going to choose this .obj. So here I'm going to provide that location. So this is .obj file. So import it. Super cool. It's very small. See? So this one we can fix it. This is very small. And uh, I'm going to press 0 in the camera view. It's very small. Also, I'm going to verify this. Under viewport shading, everything looks good. So materials also, uh, I mean, texture also is working perfectly. Super cool. So this one definitely I need it. Also, you can see this is not landing on the floor. This 3D model is not touching the floor. And also, it's slightly tilted. So, I'm going to fix that according to the height. So, in the camera view, it shows very short. Yes. Okay, cool. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to import some references. So, go to Mixamo, just log in with your account. And here, I'm going to download this bot. Xbot or Ybot, you can download it. So I need to download export because Spider-Man is a male, right? So I'm going to choose that. According, uh, I need to set the height, height and length, everything. Okay, fine. The search post, okay. You'll get this T post and you can choose any of these characters and just download it. And here I'm going to keep this uniform with the skin and download. So already I have a downloaded, copy this location and going back to Blender, 
and here go to file first i will exit to the camera mode okay file and go to this import and then this is fbx file right so i need to choose fbx so here i'm going to search it it's a t post 2 right so i have downloaded this one so i'm going to select this import fbx see so the size of the spider-man is very small so you may have some problem if you're going to rig it on unreal engine or in blender so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it equal to this size so this is the model sm so i'm just selecting it and then press yes to scale it up yes So scale it up i think this yes scale it up yeah that's correct and then press g and x so you can move and you can check the height also you can see this is tilted so i'm going to fix that also it is not touching the floor so first i will tilt it select the character i mean model and then press r and uh, then is it so that you can tilt it you can make it straight yes so you can see the lines as well you can hold shift yes this is perfect okay then i need to bring it down to touch the floor to move the model i need to use g g key and is it so i need to touch this floor also you can see this yes it's actually touching the floor yeah now it looks very good and i'm going to compare it yes both are in uh, right position and i need to bring it a little bit higher yes so i'm going to hide this have my choice so i'm going to verify in the floor yes both are equal looks good actually okay fine so this is the height we need actually we fixed it so now i'm going to delete this character so i'm going to delete it Yes, deleted. Now I'm going to export this in FBX. Go to file and export it in FBX. So we downloaded in OBJ format and then we are exporting it to .FBX. We have fixed everything and now it is in straight and right position. So export it to FBX. So you can name it Spider-Man Andrew Garfield updated. Just to remember, I'm going to keep it that. So I'm going to save it in the location of uh, we have unzipped it right so here I'm going to save it before you export you have to do the settings on this right side right go to path mode you need to choose copy and enable this ember textures okay we are going to ember the textures so embed it and uh, choose this selected objects and uh, everything looks good okay fine so now i'm going to export it so now you are going to rig it in mixamo okay example so in mixamo just log in with your account here you can choose this upload character we can upload three extension files like fbx obj or zip file so either it should be fbx or obj okay i'm going to select the character so this is the location i saved it from blender so open it. Super cool. Perfect. See, I think all the lighting also is very good. Seriously. You can rotate. Okay, good. Then 
click on next. So here we need to set the rigs. Okay. So if you want to use a symmetry, you can just remove it. Symmetry. Also, if you want to chain right, you can chain that. Two chain fingers. No fingers. Or standard skeleton. Okay. So I'm going to choose that. So I'm going to use this uh, symmetry. If you need, you can use that. And uh, I'm going to first set the chin. This would be the chin. And if you want to remove this, right, symmetry, that also you can remove it. I think this is in correct position. Then wrist, we have to choose it. Wrist, I'm going to choose that. Okay. And uh, use symmetry, okay. So both will be in the same position. I think this will be good. And then elbows. Elbows, yes. Here it's perfect. And then knees. So you can realign if you want. Okay, I think it's good. Okay, and then groin. So here I'm going to set this groin here. Okay, perfect. Once everything is set right, just click on this next. This rig should be working perfectly and this one we can import into Unreal Engine or Blender. Our auto rigger algorithm can take up to two minutes. Your character is processing. Super cool. It's, it's perfect, right? Yes, amazing Spider-Man. It's a cool thing actually. So, okay, fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this next. Your 3D character has been uploaded. Proceed with this new character. Yes, because already, right, I have uploaded some characters and I uh, used some bots. So I need to click on this next. Wow, super cool. Now it is in T pose. So here you can choose uh, uh, animations here. Select animations. Example, I'm going to choose this animations. And uh, there's a male action pose. These are the poses. So I'm going to choose idle, something like that. So now I'm going to download this in T pose. Okay. Also, you can download with animations. So choose the T pose and download it. Okay. So it should be like a FPX binary and with skin. E frame reduction should be none. And you can choose the frames per second, but usually it will be 30. So I'm going to download it, click on that. So T pose is downloaded. Now I'm going to rename it Spidey. Okay. Andrew Spidey T pose. Once you rigged your character, now you can directly download and import into Unreal Engine like this. See, this is very, really uh, awesome texture, actually. Super bright. Okay, already I have imported that I will explain how to do it. And if you're trying to import in Blender, so I'm going to, again, import this file. So I'm going to select this T-Pose. Super cool. It's perfect. Okay. And uh, what you need to do is simply I'm going to verify with the sharing. So that is a transparent issue because of uh, some render engine, but texture also good. But if you have this right problem, just change this scenes. By default, it might be EU. Okay. You need to change it to cycles and choose this device as GPU compute. And you can check this on 
the render screen, it's perfect. See? So in order to fix that, right, what you can do in another way. So here, I'm going to choose E. And here, go to this properties. I mean, select the mesh and go to materials. And here, just scroll down. So here, right, the blend mode is alpha blend. Just change it to alpha hashed. Super cool. This looks great, seriously. See, all the issue is fixed, but there is some transparent issue. So when you change this to the render engine, right, change it to cycles. So you can see this exact. And the device should be GPU compute. Okay, looks good. So you can use this model in Blender. Unreal Engines is very simple. Once you download it, right, directly you can import it. Example, I'm going to, I created this folder, test. I will delete this first. The same typos I'm going to import here. So I have Spidey typos renamed. Just click and drag. Skeleton mesh should be selected, import mesh should be selected and input animations. And I'm going to click on this input all. So this time there should not be any issue. So super cool. There is no issue. And even right, you can see this skeleton. Oops. So I need to just ignore this, okay? FBX errors on Unreal Engine. So here you can see this skeleton mesh, yes. So I'm going to double click that. You can see the rigs. It's perfect. And there is a skeletal mesh. You can just click and drag and it is touching the floor. Super cool. And uh, you want to write it, you can rotate it so that you can view it. Wow, nice. In Unreal Engine. And if I play it right, you can see that. That's it, friends. Is the way you can download 3D characters from Sketchfab or CG Tutor or something. Okay, any 3D models. Website, you can download the 3D model. Whether it is an OBJ file or FBX, you can just simply import into Blender and you can do the corrections. And then again, you can export it to Mixamo for rigs. And the same rigs you can again. Use it in Blender or Unreal Engine. So do not skip my videos because I have explained in detail sometimes, right? If you get bored and if you're skipping it and you may miss something. So that's why. So if you follow the tutorial every seconds in this video, definitely you will also be able to import the characters in Unreal Engine or Blender. So that's it friends. Hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please put a comments and feedback from your forms. Thank you. Bye and take care.